So I'm finally in my third trimester. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new then welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming for you my 28 week pregnancy update. And I'm really excited to be like in my 28 week, 28 week of pregnancy. Because it means I've only got 12 weeks until my due date and oh, I cannot tell you how excited I am to be in the last 12 weeks of pregnancy possibly 14 if I go if I go two weeks overdue and have to be induced but I'm in the last stretch now which is what I'm trying to say and I'm so excited because I am kind of getting to that stage of pregnancy now where things are starting to get uncomfortable but I'll talk about more about that later on when I talk about my symptoms but yes 12 weeks until my due date which is like 84 days possibly until my due date and I can't wait. So in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about my symptoms at 28 weeks, baby's stats and growth at 28 weeks and anything else that might be interesting that I need to talk about. Oh I had a midwife appointment a couple of weeks ago so I'll talk about that as well and then I'll show you my belly, what my belly looks like at 28 weeks. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with baby's stats. 28 weeks and if i say him or her it's not because like i'm giving away the gender it's just what the app says so for anyone who wants to know the app that i use to track my pregnancy is pregnancy plus it's the app that i used with when i was pregnant with joshua i really like it because it gives you a weekly a week by week update on what your baby's doing and how do they how they're developing i mean it's it, everything that they say is just like an average their size and their weight it's just an average every baby is different but it's like the average size and, and weight of a baby at that stage of the pregnancy you're at but i really like it because it's very informative it's got different like features and i don't know i just really like it it makes me feel like nostalgic i guess because it's the app that i use when i was pregnant with joshua so but i mean i'm not being sponsored by this video to mention them i just i just like the app and i want to mention it so my baby at 28 weeks so i just gonna get my breath baby is 38.6 centimeters long and weighs 2.54 pounds baby is growing i mean my last update i did it was 24 weeks um and the baby weighed 34.6 the baby measured 34.6 centimetres and weighed 1.46 pounds. So the baby's gained like a whole pound and has grown like four inches. So quite a lot of growing going on now, which is quite exciting because I know like in the last trimester, they did last trimester is when they gain like most of their weight. So yeah, it's quite exciting. Your baby, whether you are carrying one baby or two babies, they will each weigh approximately the same, i.e. about two and a half pounds. Her brain is now in charge of maintaining body temperature and also controls breathing. Her irises can now respond to light by dilating and contracting. All the internal organs are maturing and preparing to function on their own at birth. You may, you may even feel her cough. Your baby's skin is beginning to look less wrinkly and more like it will look at birth. The extra fat under the skin will help to regulate the body temperature at birth. Her head is much more proportionate to the rest of the body. Your baby's bursting with energy at this point and you'll be feeling every bit of it. Um, I do believe that's quite true because this baby is quite an active little baby, especially first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Um, the baby's really active and I feel her more when I'm not at work than when I am at work. Because when I'm at work, I don't really get time to sit down and relax. Yeah, so I feel like this baby is quite an active baby. More active than what Joshua was. So, which is quite kind of nice, but then at the same time... So if the baby's having a quiet day, like, then I do kind of then panic a little bit. But it's fine. Because, um, she did, um, because then the baby knows that I'm panicking and then starts moving. So, if we compare baby's size to... A fruit or veg they from this week they compare him or her to a winter squash which is which is a pumpkin basically so the baby is now the size of an average pumpkin which is quite so i feel like 
in size now. The baby's get the baby's getting quite big. And this is apparently what the baby sort of looks like at week 28. So very much looking like a baby now. Just a bit skinnier than what he or she will look like at, at birth. So that is everything that's happening with baby stats this week. So I'm just going to move on to my symptoms. The first new symptom that I've been feeling in the last couple of weeks um, is heartburn slash indigestion slash acid reflux. Now I think it's more acid reflux that I'm suffering with than any of the other two. But yeah, I've been feeling um, some sort of like digestive thing going on if that makes sense so so we when i was pregnant with joshua i do remember suffering with like some sort of like heartburn or something like that but i do not remember um having that until very later on in pregnancy so like within the last couple of weeks but this time round i am 28 weeks today and it's been in the last like two, one to two weeks that i've really started like suffering with heartburn so it's a symptom that seems to come a lot earlier this time around than last time. And then actually I've been finding that with a lot of my symptoms that if I've had them when I was pregnant with Joshua, they came a lot later in that pregnancy, whereas this time around I've been getting them a lot earlier. But apparently that's normal if you've already had a baby before. So yeah, I've been suffering with heartburn, which is not has not been fun. Like who who enjoys suffering with heartburn? No one, but it's becoming a bit more frequent so i don't feel it every day and it's not and i don't feel it all the time it's just some days i'll feel it and then the severity of it can can differ as well so sometimes it'll be just a little bit and it maybe it might go in like half an hour 20 minutes and then there's other times like for example last night where it can feel really bad and, and severe to the point where it, it's it makes me feel like i'm gonna throw up and it can last for a couple of hours. So, yeah, it's not been that great. Um, it's been quite uncomfortable and I've not been enjoying, enjoying that too much. Um, as you can tell, I'm very out of breath and I feel like this baby is sitting a lot higher up than what Joshua was because I, ne I never suffered with out of breath, like, with like breathlessness. Yeah, I don't remember him getting this out of breath with Joshua, if I did at all. Um, and he he did kind of sit quite low down which I feel like this baby is sitting quite high up and I feel like my bump is higher up than what it was with Joshua. Another new symptom I've been dealing with is I'm starting to get uncomfortable. There's certain things that happen that make me feel uncomfortable so like for example if I'm sitting too far forward I end up with like something sticking into me. I think it's it's the baby's bum and the only reason why I say that is because at my last appointment which i'll go into a little bit more detail in a minute they wrote on my notes that baby was head down so and that's the only reason why i think it could be like a bum because of that that can be quite uncomfortable it's not painful but it's just uncomfortable because you know you've got something there um i've also been getting pain in like my groin area every now and then i'll just get like a random sharp stabbing pain like if i'm walking I won't, it's not like a pain that I get all the time, but if I'm if I'm like out walking, I sometimes I only get it, or if I if I get up, I sometimes get it. So I'm starting to get like pains in my my groin, especially like particularly in my right side. I don't really feel, feel them that often in my left side. It's more on my right side that I feel them, and it's something that I'm going to mention to my midwife at my next appointment. I have on Friday just because I just want to make sure it's normal to be getting it more on one side than the other. Um, I've also noticed that I'm getting pain around my pubic bone but if the baby's head down then that could be the baby pushing down on my cervix which could be causing that which I've been told is normal because I did bring it up in my last appointment because I've been feeling it since about 24, 25 weeks um, and my midwife said it was normal to be feeling that earlier on um because where i've been pregnant before my body's all stretched out so there's more room for babies sort of like move around in there so um the midwife did say that was normal to be feeling like movements and pressure like that and my pubic bone tends to ache especially like at the end of a long day so that i've been getting that i've also been getting pain in my lower back which i've been getting it through 
I've been getting that since about 21, 22 weeks. But the further on I get, like, the more intense it kind of starts to feel. But again, I get that more if I've been had a long day at work or if I've been doing a lot that day. If basically, if I if my body feels like it's overdone it, then I tend to get pains in my back. I occasionally get a pain that radiates from my back down through to my thigh. So, like, I'll get a random pain in my bum cheek sometimes, and it kind of feels like when you guys sort of when you you know when you've pulled a muscle, it kind of feels like that pain. It feels like something like it's tensing up inside um, and it needs to be like stretched out. That's the type of pain it feels like. I've noticed last night in bed I had a leg cramp and I'd, I get leg cramps every now and then like I'd, like before pregnancy but yeah I got my, my leg went stiff and I got a cramp in it and you know when it gets to like when it's like a cramp where you, you can't really like stretch out your foot properly without it hurting. <laughs> That was like the pain that I had, like in my calf. And we're getting headaches again, especially if I'm like really tired and I've not been drinking or eating enough. So I kind of need to make sure that I eat and drink enough. In particular, like drink enough water. Um, Cause there are some days where I do forget, not to not forget, but I do like, well no, I do forget because I'm busy working or I'm busy doing something. And then I suddenly think, oh it's actually been a little while since I've actually had anything to drink. I've been a lot more gassy than what I usually am. So I've been burping a lot more than what I usually would and then I've also had like wind. And this is kind of embarrassing to talk about because this is obviously gonna go on the internet. But yeah, I've been getting a lot of like um, stomach ache from like trapped wind and things like that. So I've also been experiencing that, which has not been fun because I mean, who wants to have like trapped wind? Cause it's just like not very ladylike, is it? So I've been dealing with that like, stomach ache and it's not all the time it's just every now and then I get that other than that I don't think I think that's all my symptoms like all, all the new symptoms that I've had for this week I don't think I've had any other new symptoms in the last couple of weeks I think that's it so I'll talk about my um my last midwife appointment so I had a midwife appointment at 25 weeks and four days and yeah, everything went fine. Baby's heartbeat was lovely. My blood pressure was fine. They tested my urine, which was fine. The only thing they said was that they thought I could possibly have like a, a UTI because they had like a slight something in there that they, that they test. But other than that, there was no protein or anything in the urine, which is what they're more concerned of um, because of preeclampsia. But I didn't have like, so yeah, so my stats came back fine for, for everything. My tummy's measuring fine. So my stomach, they've started measuring my stomach now, which I find, I love, I love, I don't know, like, I kind of find it interesting because I like to see how like big my belly grows. I I thought up until about until my 25 week midwife appointment, I thought my pregnancy was a low risk pregnancy just because they didn't say it was high risk in my eight week appointment. But at my 16 week appointment, they, I don't think they mentioned that I was high risk, but they ticked the high risk box. And then at 25 weeks, she mentioned, they mentioned that I was high risk. Um, and the reason why I am classed as high risk is because I have a, I had a hemorrhage just after I delivered Joshua and I lost quite a lot of blood. So, not, um, so because of that, I'm now classed as high risk, which means that I, I'm advised to go to a hospital rather than a maternity unit. So when I gave birth to Joshua, I, because I was classed as low risk, I was going to give birth in a hospital, in a, um, a uh, it was it was at a hospital, but the, the maternity bit is midwife led. So it's called, it was like a midwife led unit and it's not classed as like a, a high risk. It was a low risk, they're low risk ward, like they're low risk unit. Because I had a hemorrhage with Joshua, I'm now actually classed as high risk in this pregnancy, which means that I now have to start off at the other hospital where they have the high risk ward. So I've now got to do that. I need to find out a bit more about what type of birth I can have, if, I can, if I'm still allowed to have a water birth like I planned from the beginning, or if, I, if I'm not allowed. And, and what my options are basically for like labour and things. I also need to ask them because they keep ticking, they keep like ticking the obstetrician and I need to ask them what that means because they haven't explained to me 
whether I need to see an obstetrician, if I'm going to have to meet with one, and so on and so forth. So I need to like find out what that means because I'm now slightly worried because I just want to know like if base if I'm basically going to have the type of labour that I want or if I'm not going to be allowed. And I don't I want to know what it means to have to meet an obstetrician or and have to be obstetrician led. They, like I said, they've not explained it to me, so I need to try and find that out, which I'll hopefully be able to find out on Friday at my next midwife appointment. I need to remember to ask them. So I think that's everything that I kind of need to update you on in this update, and I will show you what my baby looks like now. I don't actually feel like I look any different from my last update. I kind of feel a bit smaller. I feel like I look quite small today, but I'm not sure. But I'll show you anyway. This is what... My belly looks like with clothes on. And this is from the side, from the front, and from the other side. So, I don't think people can miss it now. I think if someone looked at me and thought I looked fat, they'd need their rise testing, because I think, I don't know, I think in some angles I don't look very round, but then in others I do. And then I'll show you what it looks like without clothes on. So, this is my belly. To be honest, on camera I actually look quite big. <laughs> uh, from the side. From the front. And from the other side. But yeah, I don't feel like you can really miss it anymore. This basically concludes my 28 week pregnancy update. So yeah, that's it. Just want to say thank you for watching please share and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below telling me whether or not you think i'm having a boy or a girl as i kind of think it would be fun to see what people's guesses are based on the shape of my bump and how i'm carrying i want to see what people's guesses will be so leave a comment down below to tell me if you think i'm having a boy or a girl and i will see you in my next video bye guys